welcome back to my channel and to yet another video today i'll be sharing with you my week to check in so let's get started first of all i want to start with writing down all the transactions that i've had this week and we'll start from the 9th because the 8th was a sunday and i usually have a no spend day mostly on sundays so on the 9th to the 14th i spent 600 shillings for my transport and that is from my fair envelope next is the 9th to the 14th yet again i spent 1600 and this was for food this is from uh, my groceries envelope next on the 9th the first transaction was on the twin no 200 shillings which was for our garbage we shall choose our garbage envelope then another 200 from water and that was from our water envelope as well and the last transaction on the 9th was 3000 I paid for the other charmer which was a little bit late but it's all fine then the next transaction was on the 10th and I spent 1750 and this was for R and S and this is for actually debt supposed to indicate debt and then the category was R and S debts. then lastly on the 12th I spent 200 shillings for our token and that was for our electricity there is something I'm experimenting with me buying uh, small amounts of token because I saw a post on Facebook that if you buy 200 uh, units worth 200 you get 13 units but when you buy it as a whole for 500 you get less and it's true that is what I've been doing because on the 7th I actually bought token worth 200 then I did again 200 it's not finished yet but I just wanted to top it up and we are doing good so far and as I'm doing this checking it's on the 16th and I still have quite a lot of units so next we will go to our calendar and I have already put down all the stickers just for ease and reduce the time consumed so green is for my fair yellow groceries the light pink is for any bill and the dark pink is for any debt so we'll start with our fair which is the green sticker so on the 19th to the 14th we spent 600 for our fare so 600 and i've just put a single uh, washi tape to indicate that this is for all these days both for my fare and for my groceries and i thought it was cute so i didn't want to slice it in half because it was a little bit big so on the 9th to the 14th again i spent 1600 on food Then on the 9th, there's 200 for garbage. Then there's 200 for of water. And then I'm supposed to have one more transaction here. Mm, actually, the... Uh, I 
Okay, I'll just put the sticker. Let me just finish the rest and then I'll get back to that. Then on the 12th and the 10th, on the 10th, these two deaths, these um, R and S. So if you watched my debt, debt payment plan for the month of March, if you have not, I'll just put it somewhere here. I actually did my uh, my debt tracking and I decided not to check in for these two because they fell into this week. I will do that when I'm doing this checking. But I paid R 1000 shillings and S 750. I've already indicated which I did that, which I indicated when I was doing that video. So we'll just skip that because I've already done it. Then on the 12th, I paid 200 shillings for our activity token. So, and on the 14th, I went to visit my grandma and I just wanted to indicate that over here. So this is not any transaction. So let me just pause, put a sticker here for my charmer, then get back, then we'll continue. Okay, so I have the sticker down and on the 9th, I paid 3,000 shillings for my charmer. So I will just go ahead and indicate that here. So yeah, that's that's all the transactions that were in the calendar. So let's go ahead and do the actual check-in for the actual envelopes. So I'll just write the categories. Choose my fare, my groceries. And any unbudgeted amounts that I may incur during the week. Not decided yet if I'm going to change that category, but we will see. So for our fair, actually I'm going to be checking in for the 9th to the 15th. So for my fair, calendar says okay. Spent 600 shillings. So 600. The last time I did my checking, I had a balance of 1,900. 1,900 minus 600. 1,300 is the balance I'm supposed to have. So going to our flashcard, that is what is indicated in our flashcard. Going to um, the actual envelope, let's confirm how much is in there. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 100. So that is fine. You can close that account. Next is groceries. And for groceries, we have spent this week 1,600. The last time we did the checking, I had a balance of 2,350 minus 1,600 for this week. I'm supposed to have 750 in this account. That is what is indicated in our flashcard. And let's just confirm that's, what, that's what's in the envelope. That is what is in the envelope. So five seats. 750 okay so i do not have any unbudgeted figure so i'll just go ahead and indicate zero and then you're going to go back and do the actual the manual checking for the other envelopes that i know i have touched this week so just check in check the envelopes for the two that i have checked in for next we're going to do the bills so water electricity and garbage are usually in the same envelope so we just go ahead and do for both for all the three of them the first one is for on the nine the first one is for my water and that is what i paid for then next is for my garbage the same day so that is what i paid for the last time we did the checking on the seventh, the last time we did the checking on the um yes the seventh, I had a balance of nine hundred. So nine hundred minus the two hundred that I did on I paid for water on the ninth. 
then minus the 200 I paid for garbage, minus the other 200 that I paid for our electricity token. I'm supposed to have a balance of 300, and that is what is indicated here in my flashcard. And actually, that is what is in the envelope, 300 shillings. So we'll go ahead and just close that account. Next will be our charmer. And on the 9th, I paid 3,000 shillings. And that is what is indicated. The last time I did the check-in, I had the balance, a balance of 3,000 shillings on the 9th. Paid out that 3,000 shillings, so I'm not supposed to have anything in that envelope. So you see it's empty. And lastly, we will check in for the other two deaths. Which is on the 10th, I paid 1,750. And that is what is broken down with these two stickers over here. And I just wanted to practically show you from my envelopes that as of that day on the seventh or the tenth, I actually still owe R two hundred and no, actually R is completely paid off. So as you can see, I actually paid off that amount of one thousand five hundred of actually. <laughs> Of 1,000 so I don't have any R debt and if you have checked my debt payment debt update I have actually paid I actually was able to pay off three debts three or four just confirm three I was actually able to pay three debt completely and part of one so I, I actually paid off four debts but uh, I paid off three debts and uh, and part of S. So S I paid 750, but I did not indicate in my flashcard that I had taken out that 1,000. So I still owe 250 for that. So 1,800 minus 250. I'm supposed to have 1,550 in this envelope. Five, one, two, three, four, fifteen, fifty. So I'll put in the 250 here and clear out this debt and continue putting this money together for them. And so that is all there is to the debt payment for me for this month. I will not be paying any more until the next month. So I'll just go ahead and check with the boxes for the debts. I do not I did not have any a transaction on the 15th which is was a Sunday and I decided to put another little background sticker box here I stamped a little flower and just wrote be kind and I thought it looked pretty so that is what I'll be doing for all the days that I have no transaction I'm hoping that this week I will not I will have one no spend day during the week but we will see because i have spent so much money especially on groceries for the first and the second week and i do not have any problem with that because we have stocked up really well and so it might carry us to this week unless we decide to eat something extra that is not in our pantry or something extra that is not in our house so I'm really not worried about that because usually the last week is the week that I usually don't use so much money. So if we continue and just use money on this coming week, which is from the 15th to the, the 16th to the 21, 16th to the 22nd, I'm really not worried about that because during this week is the time that we clear out any food stuff that we have stocked up in our house. I thank you so much for giving me the time, your time. And for keeping me company as I did this check-in. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have not watched any of my other videos, I will put a link in the end uh, in the end card where you can actually watch the playlist for all my budgeting videos. And if you're interested, you can even watch other videos on my channel. Thank you so much for your uh, time, for your love and for your support. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.